Today's Morning Minute, Kingdom Living is receiving, receiving your adoption papers. And we read in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verses 8 through 12. Therefore, I mind you to stir up the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Therefore, do not be ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but share with me in the sufferings for the gospel according to the power of God, who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which is given to us in Christ Jesus before time began, but has now been revealed by the appearing of our Savior Jesus Christ, who has abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel to which I was appointed to preach an apostle and a teacher of the Gentiles. For this reason, I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed, and I am persuaded that he's able to keep what I have committed to him until that day. And we read in Galatians chapter 4, verses 4 to 7, When the right time came, God sent his son, born of a woman, subject to the law. God sent him to buy freedom for us who were slaves to the law so that he could adopt us as his very own children. Because we are his children, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, prompting us to call out, Abba, 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 Father. Now you are no longer a slave, but God's own child. And since you are his child, God has made you his heir. Your destiny in life is to be reunited back to your father. Your father knew you before the foundations of the world. God has said he'll never leave you or forsake you. You are not an orphan. You're a son or daughter of God. This is God's will and purpose for all mankind and you. With God, the fatherless find mercy. God has taken care of the forsaken orphans by his divine providence. God gives relief for orphans in a way you might not have expected. God is a better friend than your earthly parents can ever be. Though your father and mother may forsake you or reject you, know your heavenly father will receive you into his everlasting arms of love. God is love. Receive God's hug. Feel the squeeze from your Heavenly Father. He is wrapping His arms around you. You are no longer an orphan. Your Father is the creator, redeemer, and sustainer of life. You've been adopted into the royalty of the King of kings and Lord of lords. Your Father loves you unconditionally. Your Father sees you as He sees Jesus without sin. You have the divine nature of God living in you as a born-again follower of Jesus Christ. You can enter God's family because of what Jesus did on the cross, not because of anything you've done or not done. Your dependence is no longer on your earthly mother and father. Receive all your Heavenly Father's love. Believe and receive your adoption papers, the blood of Jesus Christ on the cross, and enter your father's family as a son or daughter of God. Amen and amen.